After spending 17 years in prison, Paris was determined to start a new life. But the path to success wasn't easy. With the help of career counselors at Goodwill's Job Connection and the confidence he gained through the Construction and Green Jobs Training Program, Paris got the boost he needed to get a job as a chef at Mercy Hospital and get back on his feet. Ladies and gentlemen, our final Good Work Award is presented to Paris Friday. That's awesome, Stephen. It is. <clears throat> Good afternoon. It's an honor to be here to accept this award. Last time I saw my name in print like that, it was in the newspaper, and I was indicted and sent to prison. I feel like the whole world was against Paris Friday. Now, with Goodwill's help, it seems like the whole world is for me. This is the turning point for my future. I couldn't see myself making it to this point a year ago. I had so many things stacked against me. I haven't worked in 17 years. I made a choice in 1993 that led me to incarceration due to the fact that I lacked the skills and knowledge. I didn't have a positive influence in my life to help me make better decisions, which led me to selling drugs, hanging out with the wrong crowd, carrying weapons, doing all types of things that broke the law. The negative side of me is not what I want you to remember. What I want you to remember is how I, how I reinvented myself. I made a decision in prison that I was going to correct the wrong that I did. I started taking courses and trying to better myself with skills to help me once released. I made that choice in prison never to go back. When I was released in March last year, I started my job search from 8 o'clock in the morning to 6 o'clock at night. I had no luck, nothing at all. It was hard, it was tough, frustrating. I didn't have the necessary skills I needed for the interview, for job readiness, plus the fact that I had a record. My case manager at the Hadway House asked me if I heard of Goodwill. I said, sure, they do clothing. <laughs> <laughs> she said, no, they do much more. So when I went to Goodwill, I met Tita, Tina Benitez in a job connection. She introduced me to job constru um, construction skills and training class. There I met Anastasia Knight and Butch Bacchus. I had three people believe in me now, which boosted my self-esteem and my confidence. Goodwill helped me with my resume, my job readiness, and I quickly landed a job at the ranch house as a dishwasher while still going to school for the construction skills training class. While still going to school and job searching, Anastasia Knight continued to work with me on my skills for his employment. The turning point came when Butch Bacchus and Brian Otto asked me to represent Goodwill and speak in front of the board. Speaking in front of a room full of professionals, seeing how they were willing to invest in me and help me I knew then my life was changing right before my eyes. While Anastasia Knight was still helping with my skills for his employment, after three interviews, I landed a job at Mercy Hospital as a short line cook with a thank you note I hand delivered. Once I handed the, um, the note to the supervisor, she held it up and said, look, this is how it's supposed to be done. And I knew then I had the job. <laughs> The road hasn't been easy, it hasn't. I've had some difficult times, um, and Goodwill has been there to support me. They had my back. Goodwill saved my life. And other partners like Goodwill is the reason that I'm not in prison right now. And I know I can stay on the right track. After graduating last fall, I had interviews, newspaper, emails from people looking up to me. It made me feel good, it was overwhelming that someone looking up to me because a person like me with a record, people look down on. But by me trying to show you that I've changed and doing the right thing, it feels so good that people looked up to me. 
I even received telephone calls from old prison pals saying, hey, we received an article, congratulations, and I've given them hope now that there is a life and you can do it the right way. Before I was released from prison, my counselor pulled me in the office and said, Paris, I'm not going to lie to you. You're not going to find a job. With your record, it's going to be hard. I'm not going to blow no smoke up your beep. <laughs> I said, I understand. I just listened to him. And he just kept on saying, you're not going to find a job. It's going to be tough. I made sure that counselor received copies of this article, copy of this <laughs> so that he can see the power of believing in someone has on someone. I even received a letter from Representative Sue Myrick congratulating me on my success, my accomplishments, and my termination. Just as Goodwill has given to me, I want to give back. So I start school this summer as a counselor. I've taken a course at CP now. Today is my legacy. Tomorrow is much brighter now. I'd like to thank you, everyone that supported us, goodwill of your time, financially, for programs to help people like me benefit. I thank you, goodwill, for saving my life. <laughs>